day, my name's Dominic Gundry, I'm 16, and I go to Ross Mini College on the North Shore. I hope I get to sit in the cockpit of a 737 or a Metro, just any plane. <laughs> Excited for that. Aeronautical engineering is a highly specialised area, and to learn a little of what's involved, Dominic's come to Airwork New Zealand's hangar at Auckland Airport. Airwork provide a variety of maintenance services including turbine repair and overhaul, as well as specialised equipment modifications. Brian Porter is Airwork's aircraft engineering manager. We're looking for commitment. Um, it's three years minimum training. Um, with that, there's a huge cost involved. Each rating course is approximately about twelve and a half dollars to $15,000 per engineer. So, with strong boots and overalls, Dominic's suitably equipped to be shown around the airwork hangar. <laughs> you don't go too good at 10, 20,000 feet with no air. Because there's so much specialisation, apprentices are really taken direct from school. So like the preferred option is to pick people from an approved course. Remember, at the end of the day, you are responsible as the individual for the safety of the aircraft. Yeah. If you cock up, it goes splat. It's a career that involves um, thinking out of the box. You have to say, I did this to the best of my abilities. This area here is the tool room. Every single engineer has a tool tag, okay, and you put it on the aircraft that you're working on, and then you put one also on the um, tool board. That's really important for us, because at the end of the day, when the aircraft goes to fly, we have to confirm that all the tools are accounted for. This air ambulance has been out of service for new equipment to be fitted. Because this aircraft's an air ambulance aircraft, it needs to get in all the time into airfields that are closed because of fog. We've installed a brand new GPS, which integrates into the flight instrumentation over here. And it will say, right, I know exactly where I am, I know where the runway is, we know we're going to go there and land. After a test flight, the GPS has the thumbs up and a standby aircraft can be released. The big job today is to move the specialised ambulance equipment into the re-equipped plane. This industry is about hard slog, it's about getting up early in the morning, it's about working late, getting wet, getting full of kerosene and having to work bloody hard. This is not a nine to five job, this job is, has always been, if you're lucky, six days a week, if you're unfortunate, seven days a week. An engineer's job is immensely varied and can simply be hard graft. I thought engineering was just like engines, jet engines, all that, not like configuring planes and it's much different to what I thought. Twenty-one year old Jamie Anderson is doing his second year of training at Airwork. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's great. Uh, there's plenty of opportunities out there and it's always a challenge when you come to work. It's not the same old stuff every day and uh, getting to work with modern technology. Uh, and all sorts of work, varying atmospheres, it's great. Dominic gets a lesson in wire safety yeah. lock techniques. We generally uh, safety lock components like this to ensure that due to the vibrations in flight, nothing can come undone. We put twists in a bit of lock wire and we use the lock wire to hold the connector in a clockwise positive position. So in flight, it can't actually turn anti-clockwise. What we're looking for from the engineer himself is um, the ability to learn, the ability to give back to us and um, to stay within the organisation and more importantly to stay within Again. the industry. We've got three important parts of it, okay? The suck bit, then it compresses it in the middle and then we set fire to it and we throw it out the back. Tomorrow this 737 has an important job flying Greek government officials. Inside it's still an empty shell. First thing on the schedule sheet tomorrow will be to fit it out. The next day, Dominic's up earlier than he's been for quite some time. Usually working at nine for rugby, but too early for me. Something to get used to, definitely. The seats are going in and Dominic's down to help. The biggest problem with aviation is that kerosene gets into your blood and you, you get addicted to it. You're out here um, at four o'clock in the morning, you're out here at two o'clock in the evening. People rely on you to do something. Okay? At the end of the day, the phone rings, you have to do something, and that's it. It's an addiction, better than a drug. The seats are in, but now there's a problem with the fuel. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull the cannon plug off and give it a clean. So it's just a cannon plug here, it's just like a ball socket. Let's pop it off there, check all the pins are straight. If that's the problem, then it's a simple repair. 
but there's no easy way to find out if it's fixed. We've got a problem with the aircraft. The uh, right-hand engine has got a fuel indication problem. I've transposed the gauges and we'll now do an engine run to see whether it's satisfactory or not. If not, we'll look into it further. Sure. Okay. If we, have a, if we have an incident, when I say go, don't around, out, gone. Okay? You understand? It's extremely important. It's not fun. Okay then, we're going to be starting now number one engine, we'll hold for that, and then we'll be starting number two engine from there, okay? Temperature's coming up, temperature's rushing, oil pressure's good, tell them we're going to take them up to 40% power. Once again, it seems to be flowing, alright? Yeah. The test is successful and the plane will shortly be on its way. Did you, um, uh, get it? This career can take you anywhere and everywhere. I've been to Iceland, Switzerland, Sweden, right through Europe, England, time in the States. Um, it, it, the, it's your oyster. You open it, you decide. Never knew there were so many like, opportunities in this kind of career. The best part of this experience was starting up the 737 and giving it a ground check and all that. Sitting in the cockpits of the Metro and just doing stuff around planes. I enjoyed it so much. A national certificate in aeronautical engineering is available in seven specialisations with further qualifications available in aviation support and aircraft servicing. All training is done on the job. Assessments are conducted as part of a training programme agreed between the business, the trainee and the aviation tourism and travel training organisation. Aeronautical engineers usually earn between $45,000 and $70,000 per year and the qualifications you receive in New Zealand are recognised throughout the world. We would like to thank the Aviation Tourism and Travel Training Organisation for their help in making this programme possible. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.